Yo, what's good guys? It's Dixon from Toyota Designs back at you with another video this week. So in this video, I'm going to show you the design process of how I come up with this album cover. Basically, I'm going to show you guys the behind the scenes or the insights of how I come up with the colors, the concepts and elements and stuff, which I'm pretty excited to begin. Also, I got this concrete texture pack on my store. Um, same as last time, it's totally free. Just want to give back to the design community. So if you guys like, you know, these free assets, let me know in the comments below and I'll keep making them. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I got tons of new videos coming up in 2021. Um, don't miss out. Subscribe. Let's go. Okay, starting off, I'm gonna create a new layer for the artwork today. Um, typically, I go with 3000 by 3000 pixels at 300 dpi, and then I'm gonna set the color profile to sRGB. I think, yeah, this one. Uh, I'm gonna typically, this is what people go for if they're designing for a city cover. Okay, so right now I'm gonna close this first layer that I made before I start recording the, the video. Um, and then I'm gonna copy this desert photo that I got from DeviantArt. It's always better to use stock photos when it comes to creating for a client. Uh, you want to make sure that the stock photos are commercial free so that you don't have any kind of legal issues when you start selling your designs or artworks to your client. Anyway, right now I'm gonna start flipping this photo around, basically trying to find the right composition for this artwork because the whole thing is going to be depend on, you know, the right placement of this desert photo. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the landscape's done. Right now, I'm gonna focus more on the upper section of the artwork, which is the sky. Initially, I wanted to go with some kind of a cloud photo, but then I figured why not go with some kind of a galaxy background instead because I think it would fit the sci-fi uh, theme better. So let's go into my uh, space shit folder and let's just um, go with the galaxy folder. Yes, this one. And then let's just go with the third photo. Wait a minute. Yeah. And then copy it, paste it into the artwork. I know it looks pretty bad right now, but the plan is to add a gradient layer over the galaxy layer. And then I'm going to find a cool color combination that complements each other. I'm still not that happy with the colors yet, but we'll get back to it later. Right now, I'm gonna crop this photo that I got from iStock Photo. I think I paid like 10 bucks for it, but anyway, let's just remove the background using this quick action tool. And let's see, yeah, it doesn't really look that clean. You can see that some parts of the ear are gone. And then, yeah, the whole neck is gone. So we're just gonna have to do it manually using the magic wand tool let's see um, whenever you're using the magic wand tool you really have to make sure that everything looks good especially around the edges of the subject that you want to crop out of 
um, I let's just say this looks pretty good for now okay let's go to select and mask oh we got it wrong um, let's just cancel it and then click on select and verse and then select and mask again what that's gonna do is open this window where you can actually play with the settings that actually refine the edges of the subject that you want to crop from um, these settings are typically what I go for so I'm just gonna click on OK apply the mask layer copy it and paste it back into the artwork You can see there's some yellow hues uh, throughout the face. Uh, I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is open selective color tool. What this is gonna do is allow you to selectively manipulate the color of your choice. In this case is yellow. So you can see that I'm trying to blend the yellow hue to pink similar to the rest of the face. So this is the color combination that I got so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, other than the color on the face, maybe manipulate it. I'm thinking yellow would be a good fit to contrast the color of the rest of the artwork. So now I'm adding a new element into the artwork which is this uh, this shape called icosahedron. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's one of the five platonic shapes. I like the way it looks and it definitely adds a certain aesthetic to the artwork. I found these uh, photos from Google. They won't go against the copyright rules because in a minute you will see I'm only using them as reference.
I think that's it in terms of adding elements to the artwork. Right now for the final touches, I like to use the oil paint filter. I really like that painted look. It gives the whole artwork even more character. And then after that, I'm gonna add a high pass layer to bring out the final details. If you wanna copy this technique and apply it in your own work, please do. You guys can tag me on Instagram or send me a DM, whatever. Um, I just wanna see what you guys can do. So here's the result from today's video. I also took a bit of time to come up with that alternate cover you can see on the right side here. From my experience, it tends to sell a lot more faster when it comes to pre-made album artworks. I guess it makes the client feel like they get two designs for the price of one. Anyway, like I said earlier, please subscribe to the channel because I got more videos coming up in 2021. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet. Other than that, stay safe. Catch you in the next one.